Hello, it's Richard Wilson coming to you from downtown Singapore. And today I want to talk to you about the engagement factor. I've recently been studying work by Dan Kennedy, John Carlton, Frank Kern about recording videos, creating white papers, creating content so that your potential clients will actually be engaged at what you're trying to tell them or educate them on. A lot of what I talk about is educational marketing and providing value to your audience and value to your industry and doing that in ways where it'll get people's attention and make them look at you as an expert and someone that's a resource to them and so on instead of somebody who maybe is trying to sell them something and that's their only uh, kind of approach to it. So my video here today on the engagement factor is really around a statement I heard from Dan Kennedy about how if you want to grow your share in a marketplace, you have to become more fascinating to more people. So what I wanted to really drill home here is that you need to think of exactly who you're targeting, what their biggest interests are, what their biggest fears are, what their biggest goals are, and then figure out how you can become part of the solution of how they can avoid their biggest fears or how they can meet their biggest goals. So for example, if you're targeting ultra wealthy professionals, one of their ultimate goals might be to buy a private jet, or one of their ultimate goals might be to travel to certain places. So incorporating that in either some of the speeches you give or in some of the articles that you write can really lead to more engagement from your audience. There's also other things you consider is the format of your educational content. Uh, in my case, I've had 17,000 people download a report that I wrote, and I only had a few hundred responses that were really positive from that. I then recently wrote a white paper, and just by calling it a white paper and having slightly different content, we are able to get one out of every 10 people that uh, actually read the white paper to respond to us and engage us, call us, and email us. So the engagement factor on calling something a white paper, the clients I work with, is much higher than a simple report. So it's just another example of how you can engage your audience. The final suggestion I want to leave is visual aspects of engagement. You can do things like record a video on the beach in the Cayman Islands or in front of a car here like a Ferrari or you know inside of a private jet if one of your friends has a private jet. There's different things where the environment alone adds some authority and a big engagement factor to what you're doing. You can really uh, look at these types of strategies in a hundred different ways and I would encourage you to. And the good thing is your competition won't take the time to think about this. Most people don't take the time to think about how they can maximize the engagement on a piece of content they create, and there's really endless ways that you can do so. So I hope this video has helped you in thinking about engagement um, characteristics of the content you're creating and your website and your marketing materials, and I hope that you're able to use this and help grow your business as well. This is Richard Wilson coming from Singapore, and I'll talk to you again soon.